Hello humans, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm back at it again, uploading every day, so make sure to stop by when you get a chance in your busy schedules. So this video is going to entail footage of me working with my plants. But before I begin, I just wanted to show you a quick little snippet of what my succulents look like at the moment. There are my new calanchoes. So this is the pot that I'm going to start with. I'm starting with an Echeveria topsy-turvy and I want to show you how to clean the base. So basically what you want to do is just look for all the dried up leaves or the leaves that are rotting and remove them as quick as possible so they don't infect the soil and break down in the soil. So here that's that's what I'm doing and I noticed that this Echeveria topsy-turvy breaks really easily so the leaves do not like to be touched whatsoever and so if you just move it just a little bit it will break so the best way to remove all of the dried leaves and all of the junk that is on the base of this pot is by using tweezers. I thought of that after I was done cleaning it, unfortunately. So I'm going to make a video in the future and I'm going to show you how I do that, how I clean the bases of my pots with tweezers. So now that the base of my pot is clean, I can move on into making my succulent arrangement for this video. Now I'm going to put together a succulent container, but let me start by saying that this arrangement would probably be best for a white exterior object, on top of a white table or on top of something white, like a pile of white rocks, or on top of a white book. I'm basically going to be cutting heads, succulent heads, and placing them in this Hunter Wellies colored pot that I received as a gift. I decided to start with the Cirrus Ming thing succulent that is also a cacti. So I went ahead and uh, made cuttings about four to five months ago and they're all dried up. They actually have a root system already. I went ahead and placed three of them in the center um, horizontally so then I started to just pile up my my rosette succulents the succulents that I used for this video or for this arrangement are um, three kinds the very first one is the Graptivaria Paraguayanese succulent which is very similar to the Graptivitellum Paraguayanese succulent but they're not the same I also used a sedum golden glow Actually, I use about five to, to six sedum golden glows, and I also used a Graptosetum Francisco Baldi succulent. The succulent on the upper left hand corner is called a copper stone stone crop, and most of the rosettes that I'm using are a little stretched out and don't have much color to them. So that's definitely an indication of lack of sunlight, meaning that I need to expose my succulents to more UV radiation in the future so that they can regain their beautiful, natural, vibrant colors. Because, as you can see here, the sedum golden glow is completely green and has lost its orange hints on the ends of the leaves, which should be a red flag in your mind that entails lack of melanin production. A cool fact about this is that melanin in plants is an irregular light-absorbing polymer containing indoles and other intermediate products derived from the oxidation of tyrosine. Melanin is widely dispersed in the animal and plant kingdoms to create beautiful, vibrant colors. I still think this arrangement needs a little bit more rosettes, so I'm still making cuttings and I'm making sure that I have some length at the bottom of the rosette so it's easier for the succulents to start up their own root system. So when I cut my succulent and make the cutting, I remove the leaves from the bottom so I can create some more length at the stem and I make sure that the stem is touching the soil. The dry soil will allow these succulents to grow some roots so that they can sustain themselves through photosynthesis. If I were to water these succulents right now, I would probably increase the chances of infection and I would probably make this container suitable for bug infestation. So the last succulent cutting that I made from this animal container is called a Firestorm Vibrant Succulent and it had the lightest shades of orange thanks to my bad parenting skills. It's really similar to the copper stone stone crop but the leaf sizes really differentiate them from each other. So now that I have my container full of succulents I can change the arrangement of these succulents so that there is a balance of colors from left to right. 
It's okay for these succulents to be taken out of the soil because as long as they're upright and in some soil, they will flourish in pure sunlight and minimum water, of course. So now that I am done putting succulent cuttings inside my pot, I can decorate the base of my container with some white rocks. Yes, you guessed it right. The white rocks will actually make this arrangement a lot more appealing to the eyes because they give more attention to the color of the succulents when there is a white base at the bottom to contrast the colors with each other. Especially because the Hunter Willie's color of this container is somewhat dark and I could have put brighter succulents in this arrangement But I worked with what I had and I think this cute little mountain of succulents is pretty cute for the time being because it's full of luscious fat succulents The rocks that I'm using here have been recycled from other arrangements and I made sure to wash them And then I put them in a plastic bag. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and try and sneak them in there at the base of the soil and sometimes you just have to move the succulents a little bit um, you know so you can get a little gap to put them in there but for the most part it's pretty easy you just slide them right in there and they will stay and in about a couple days I'm gonna make sure that this arrangement gets some water so my succulents don't die if you're curious to where I bought my rocks, I actually got them at the Dollar Tree and they were about a dollar I believe and they came in a little bag just like the one that you see on the right and um, I think it's a good amount of rocks for a dollar. They also sell these rocks at Walmart but they're a little bit more expensive however they do have a lot more varieties at Walmart and you can also find rocks on Amazon for a good deal. I actually bought um, a lot of rocks through Amazon, but they were way smaller and they're very, very pretty. So I always make sure that I use them for my best arrangements. Alright everybody, that is my finished product and I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to put it aside, leave it there for a couple days, making sure that it receives at least morning sunlight so my succulents don't burn or they don't stretch a little bit too much. That wraps it up folks. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below with some feedback. I love to read each and every one of your comments. If you want to support this channel, make sure to subscribe down below by clicking the rectangular red button. Again, thank you so much, and until next time, happy propagating!